that was hello can you hear us hi guys hi uh, let me formally uh, welcome you to our show so this is what's your sankal and you are here with your host maunika and sankal <laughs> and we are here today with our guest eknath who is the founder and vocalist of the band capricio <laughs> Yes, and we're very excited to have you. Thank you for doing this with us. Thank you for having me in this podcast. You get tired, Eknath, listening to listening to that <laughs> introduction. introduction, or uh, the, are you always equally proud, like the first time listening to you know your your name and the tag founder? Oh yeah, that yeah. I mean, it's always like oh, I've, whenever I hear it, I'm like oh, I really did something there. Is it, so. is it really you, or you know, how did that happen, or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was not just me obviously, but it's a joint effort of all my teammates that like are yeah. with me right now. So, I mean, it's in the net, credit is never just me. It's Absolutely. not just mine. The yeah. Team, the team effort. The first thing I want to start is it's going to be a very funny thing that I noticed in the last few few weeks or days. Your love for Papu. <laughs> 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 what is what is up with that? Is there an inside joke, or is it just you putting a f- video of you cooking papu? Is that it? I'm just yeah. It's just the second one. I, I'm just I just love cooking papu. That's it. I mean, I just love cooking in general, and uh, right. especially South Indian dishes like the you know the comfort food that we eat, uh, like being South Indians. Uh, that's all I love making and you know eating, and you know I then closing off after eating. So. eating it so i'll agree with you there we the annam and papu with me on top and you know it's, yeah no oh, pickle what is you need in life yeah yeah i'm good yeah eknath let's uh, before we actually talk about the band and how it all started let's talk about you and your journey and uh, when did you pick up that guitar and when did you you know you know strike that first chord or when did you first hold the mic and start singing so uh, carnatic music i've been learning since a very young age since i was 8 okay. uh, years old i guess um, i started learning under a proper guru and uh, it was my grandfather who noticed that i was you know humming to movie songs while they were playing on tv and stuff so he started noticing i had this knack for uh, you know pitch and you right. know singing pitch so he just immediately just put me in a nearby community hall where they used to teach music carnatic classical music so I just started off like that, and you know, it's been in it. Music has never left me since then. Right. So, right. Yeah, That's... and uh, I don't know about. I wouldn't say the same for guitar. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You were saying. No, that's so beautiful because. It's it's uh, sad that the people who recognize your uh, talents are usually your grandparents first and your parents second, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. most cases I felt that, but even my own family, right? My grandmom. she actually was the one who purchased my drum kit really I yeah she was the one who put her money into you know me getting that drum set so that's how my journey started with my own drum set back in school so i can totally understand how you must feel about your grandparents and that bond that you have yeah but yeah go ahead yeah <laughs> so i wouldn't say the same with my guitar though because guitar i started uh, once i joined capricho i mean once i found capricho okay uh, in 2018 i guess it's been 5 years since i started guitar playing or uh, just learning in general just picking up and you know playing few parts so right. there was this, um our ex guitarist uh, called um anirudh aka kali he's in a different band now uh, okay. he's uh, he and uh, our present keyboard player shavan these two guys were the ones who inspired me to play you know learn and play guitar and those are the ones who taught me as well the first few you know uh, foundations of whatever you i need to you know get going i used to translate my carnatic knowledge into western that way it became easy for me you know getting a grip on it you know not giving up that easily and just keep going yeah. that carnatic knowledge helped me you know just st- to stick with it right so yeah i it's fun man it's really fun <laughs> i mean it's as, as part of the band you're only singer as of yeah. now right yeah yeah uh, band in the band i'm just the vocalist but okay. i really love uh, playing it learning and playing guitar and at some point i would want to become you know ace i want to ace the instrument so so you obviously you mentioned about the band we have to talk about capricio and uh, the the tag that we could find online in many of the articles was the first telugu band is it in in hyderabad or is it in specifically 
in a region yes in hyderabad it started off in hyderabad because hyderabad used to have uh, hyderabad is the only city in uh, entire telangana that used to have a proper music scene going like yeah. there was a whole lot of metal bands whole lot of blues bands whole lot of jazz bands playing even before i came into the scene uh, back in 2016 so oh. um, by 2014 itself they were like super super cool bands um, uh, hyderabadis only all these hyderabad guys who are like uh, well versed musicians now they are even into uh, telugu film industry and all you know vivek sagar right he used to be a metal head back oh. in his day okay wow and uh, yeah there were a lot of there are still a lot of good musicians uh, who were there uh, during uh, when they were in their youth uh, right. and these right. to the they used to just rock the hell out of hyderabad during yeah. their time. and now they are you know more into uh, making music for films and music production and stuff so yeah. hyderabad has a long history of great artists I, so i did not know that as as our generation i thought bands like capricio and other bands are the ones that came like in the last few years i didn't know there was a era of bands even before, before that. that and that's that's interesting to learn i mean i guess like you said all of them now are you know uh, uh, playback singers in you know movies and all of that so mm-hmm. music that, producers and all that yeah. brings me to a question have you ever thought about playback singing and is that like the or the trajectory of where you or, are or have work? you already done that uh well i i did my debut uh, oh. as a playback singer for a movie called andhra puri i mean okay. uh, it is puri jagannath sun's first film akash puri's first film so i okay. got i got the chance to sing a title song for right. that so right after that, i didn't get i mean i used to get some opportunities but you know i was like i was in my rebellious uh, age mm-hmm. back then so i kind of kind of lost some opportunities myself so i have to take the blame for that and and some opportunities i let them go just like that and some opportunities i tried to you know get i mean i tried to do my best but i couldn't but yeah i guess i am in a um, better place now mentally so right. i still am ready to you know um, approach playback singing and, and you know do some work i have yeah. work cut out in front of me but obviously i am willing to do it <laughs> yeah long way to go this is just the beginning of your journey right so long way to yeah. go yeah what were the other names that the band had when you were initially you know whiteboarding ideas about what you wanted to name the band and the team uh, do you remember any other names that you had or was capricio the always the first thing that came to your mind because of some other some reason a meaning behind it yeah uh, we used to like we uh, me and teja are the ones who founded capricio so yeah. teja is our purpose name uh, okay. he he plays the kahun and uh, he is like the he he carries the band he is the rhythm section of the band basically right right so uh he he and me he, we were just brainstorming and uh, we were like thinking a lot of names like nadam uh, all these kind of stuff and you know some i i used to like give some ideas like what about musicians from mars something something we used to just <laughs> brainstorm <laughs> i uh, and, and suddenly it struck to me i used to learn um, western vocals from um, um, from a very good guru called ashrita disuza she lives in alwal uh, so okay. she's a very good western vocal teacher so okay. i used to learn from western from her and uh, uh, i uh, i recollected her saying something uh, of kind of capriccio in c minor so it right. is like a piece in western music so it is a few gets a solo piece for violin solo violin okay uh, so it's the name of the piece is capriccio in c minor it's a italian so okay. just stuck to me suddenly and why don't we name it capriccio and yeah. he was like yeah, it, it has a nice ring to it uh, teja was like yeah let's do it mm-hmm. and let's name it capriccio and just we just came just yeah. randomly we came up with that name that's awesome that's yeah. very cool and you mentioned about the band members few of them at least so i will pro- obviously go to that question where i i'd like you to introduce all into uh, all of them Uh, to the listeners so i have a unique way of asking you that question which is we have few hats that uh, that we want you to give to uh, each you know yeah. each individual uh, the hats will be one of them will be the talkative hat <laughs> i'm sure okay. no one will murder me after listening to this podcast <laughs> okay so this talkative uh, there's the funny guy you know who's always bringing smiles and he's like a stress buster even backstage and all of that right so who is the prankster and who is the quiet one uh quiet but 
you know quite, silent but, but violent silent yeah. killer yeah <laughs> yeah but uh, and last one probably controversial <laughs> equally controversial like the rest of one rest of the ones uh, who has the most female fan following <laughs> uh-huh okay talkative uh, i think everybody of everybody talks like a lot yeah. i am the talkative talkative one so okay. i <laughs> talkative one <laughs> yeah talkative one so i'll give that half to myself and right. uh, what is the next one funny the, the funny, funny. Guy. Yeah. the funny guy it has to be um, uh, it has to be teja actually okay <laughs> yeah because he just makes uh, his jokes are so poor that we just <laughs> we just burst out laughing right right <laughs> and yeah. his jokes, and even if he does nothing at all even he's just staring at a distance expression make, we just make jokes out of it and we laugh yeah. so i mean yeah. he's the one he, we all love Uh, hanging around, hanging around him, and he makes everybody smile with his presence. He makes us laugh, even with his poor jokes. <laughs> so I, the funny guy has to be Teja. The funny hat okay. goes to Teja. Okay. And the prankster. Uh, the prankster. The prankster has to be Nishant. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. okay, what, what what are they in the band? Like the instrument? Oh or yeah, the Teja. I already told you he's a percussionist. Nishant is a guitarist. Okay. And uh, yeah, he's a prankster. He always, you know. Pulls pranks on people, and he's always like, you know, doing yeah. some shit that is annoying. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's probably also worried that you're learning guitar, and he's worried about his own, his own, you know, position, position in, the in the band. Yeah. No, no, no. I wouldn't do something like that to my own people. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. I. Yeah. It's my passion, so I would leave it out of the band. Obviously, so. Yeah. Uh, anyways, he's like, yeah. He all he also jokes about it sometimes that I have to right. be careful about my situation right now. Right. You're playing guitar <laughs> and all, all that he does, and he's the one who always, you know, does something that will, uh, you know, uh, make an impact to the band. If there is, let's say, there is a flight to catch in an hour or so, he'll come to the uh, it, an international flight. Right. <laughs> oh, he's going to kill me after this. He'll come to. <laughs> Come an hour early, like late or what? What is that? Yeah. He'll come early. He'll come an hour early. He'll be like he'll chill with us. He'll be like full. He'll eat. Uh, he'll eat with us. He'll just yeah. you know he'll chill with us. He'll be just hanging around and everything. We all go to the security check and then he realizes he forgot his he forgets his passport. Oh my god! <laughs> and then we all panic and we just we have to rush. And yeah. the last one, of course. Mon is going to kill you after this. Okay. Anyways, yeah. the quiet one. Who is the quiet one? The quiet one has to be Shravan. He plays the keyboard in our band. Okay. And okay. Um, actually, me, Teja, and Shravan are the first core members. We started when we started off in 2016. Shravan okay. was the first to join the band. Right. So right. three. Just, I mean, a lot of people came and left our band. A lot of singers, a lot of musicians. They came and left Beach May all this 2018, right. 19, 20 May. But right. um, me, Teja, and Shravan, uh, we stuck together. Okay. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, when Nishant came in 2020, he just stayed with us, and we are actually happy to touch with that Nishant and Ayan and Moses, who else, whoever else is there who came after 2020, they are staying with, like they're stuck with us, and they all uh, we all love each other. So I mean, uh, it's all for the greater good. So touch wood. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that's good. yeah. We hope the same. The last one, the controversial, the most controversial one. Who has the most female fan following? Oh, it has to be Ayan. Uh, uh, my co-vocalist. We both oh. uh, vocalists in the band, so together. So my co-vocalist Ayan, he's very handsome-looking guy. And <laughs> <laughs> is that all of them? Did we cover all of them? The yeah, five? there's Moses as well. There's one more oh. guy. He's yeah. Um, I think Shaman and Moses both get the quiet hat. Oh, they both yeah. are just quiet. They just focus on their thing. They just do their job, get yeah. the job done, and then just and they chill with us. But then they are, uh, they don't show it. Like yeah. everybody is so evident, but they are not that evident. Silent killer types. It's so beautiful, right? It's you're not just working together as band members. You're also close friends. Yeah, and... just let's just have a moment for the bromance. Like, yeah. Like, you would have like, <laughs> yeah. You would love each other. The bromance and the friendship yeah. and you know yeah. that bond you were also able to uh, you know make in the last is it seven years now to get eight years together. Seven years together. Yeah, that's that's nice. Like you mentioned, uh, while explaining this, that you know people come and go. How difficult is that? And uh, is it because they find better opportunities? Because as a band, you were initially starting right in the in twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen. 
is it because you know you were initially starting and they found better opportunities or how did it all go about and how difficult is it to keep the the band members together as one unit i mean obviously people will have other passions in life right they will obviously want to pursue that and you will respect that but you know it has to be organized in a way right it can't be a sudden and thing it's, it's yeah. a collaborative effort like yeah. everyone has to be available at this given time or you know even for rehearsals yeah. and you know shows and it's so hard to manage multiple people's mm-hmm. schedules uh, yeah it is very difficult and I, i was very young when we started off this band um, i was just around 23 years 22 years old right. um, and you know how we are all at that age right we are full of uduku raktam and full of all yeah, that yeah. rebel <laughs> attitude and all that right yeah. uh, bravado and you know yeah. Yeah. thinking Still that you can yeah. own the yeah. world you can rule the world kind of stuff right so you're yeah. uh, we all had that and we all learned from our mistakes we all learned to you know uh, put bra- boundaries uh, around us right we all, right. all learned that not everything um, is supposed to be you know said out loud something right. you have to keep to yourself you know right. you have to uh, learn what to say in what kind of situation uh, right. when to say and what kind of people will approach you when you are in uh, uh, in this uh, whole uh, music uh, band scenario thing what kind of people right. you are you'll be approached uh, like you learn a lot right, uh, right. it it right. was a learning curve for all of us like all three of us me teja and shavanna we all right. started we all are uh, same age uh, we started our around 22 and we all learned together from okay. our experiences yeah we fell down we got back up we fell down we got back up um uh, we got to know that uh, not everybody who is uh, who is smiling in front of you and who who you think are good to you not everybody is the same it probably wasn't meant to happen right like you were you yeah. were supposed to find these people that you have today and not the ones you had because you know it was destined in in that way for you and that's yeah, why it was a learning lesson right and also two things that you mentioned one is you are you acknowledge that there's a life outside this band as well right each and every individual has their own life and passions that doesn't and it's not about the group always right it can be about individual as well but it's outside of the band and that is something you respect as well so those boundaries are something you you were, you were able to establish yeah, over time yeah over time yeah, yeah. over time yeah yeah it was a very hard thing to especially draw boundaries around us because uh, um you never know uh, what kind of people are watching for you and what kind of people are not so yeah. everybody yeah. will be like uh, on your face they'll be like yeah i'm there for you but who actually has your back that you will know only with time you think this industry this band music band industry specifically is very like volatile do you think anything can happen overnight yeah it is it is ever changing it is uh, always uh, shape shifting it is capricious constantly yeah. changing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it is always evolving and uh, yeah mm, yeah it is very volatile to be honest and also as a band whatever do, someone does in the in the group uh, it it affects you as the entire band right it it's a, it's a like brand each member yeah. has to represent it yeah. yeah yeah however they they address or talk to you know the supporters or the fans outside it comes back to the entire band as a group right so that is something also to you know keep in mind that you know when you are part of the gig you know performing or during those events you are representing the whole team so you have to maintain that decorum as well as a band right oh yeah because um, people who see you in like uh, let's say some people who are your fans in 2017 they yeah. came back to see you in 2021 and they don't they find some members missing right <laughs> so you'll yeah. have to but still at the end of the day they come to you and say uh, you guys still nailed it you are just i mean you've still maintained that uh, your level of whatever capricho is uh, the talk um, right. you 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 didn't dip, disappoint us right, you right. Um, you just stayed uh, at wherever our yeah, expectations you, you stay you stay true to what the band originally started with right the yes. backbone of it is yeah. giving good music you know interacting with the crowd and all of that the authentic part of it or uh, part of it is still continuing to be the same because that that's what capricho exactly, yeah, exactly. Even, so capricho has few ethics and few um a uh, few things that we stand for um right. like uh, let's say our our sound in general we have a very distinct sound capri show right. usually all bands have drummers right you right. yourself are a drummer i just got to know that in yeah. this part uh, usually what what do you expect when you when when somebody says a band you expect uh, a guitar drums yeah. bass guitar vocals right yeah and sometimes keyboard 
right so just five instruments that just come to your mind but right. what kept show is uh, we have a kahon player in our band who represents who gives the energy and uh, you know who who almost uh, replicates a drummer it is very hard right. to do that absolutely uh, yeah. yeah yeah so basically we we started off as a very small band that just wants to make music to make people happy and you know to also fill our stomachs because yeah. it's the only thing that we know to do and there's right. nothing else that we know Uh, we right. didn't want to do a nine to five job, and that is how. That is why we chose this in the first place. Right. Was it hard, like you know, making that decision consciously? Because the typical expectation of after graduation, you do find a job, IT or whatever. Yeah. You know, was it hard for you to just say that, and I'm going to, you know, choose something completely different, unconventional. Yeah, uh, and at that time, not even having a solid band, like yeah. you mentioned, it was just the three of you. Like that, how how did you make that decision, and how easy or difficult it was, was very it? Very easy for us because Teja, he comes from a musical family. His dad. Right. uh is a tablist he's a tabla teacher his mom is a sitar player okay shravan also kind of comes from a musical family uh he's learned the keyboard from a very young age from his dad his dad right. used to play keyboard at the church so for me i've been learning carnatic since a very young age so i'm like yeah, yeah I, i i was sure i could do it mm-hmm. like this is the thing for me bolka i had it since my btech days only i i want to do this after after right. btech right i didn't think of the consequences i just okay. think i thought yeah, let's do it That's it. That's so you never had like a plan B. You were just like, this no, is it. there was no plan B at all. This that's is the, it. That's this the formula for success. Yeah, right? if you yeah. have a plan B, C, that means you'll you have... don't believe in plan A. Now. Exactly. Yeah. So you won't have enough uh, confidence in what you want to do if you always have that safety net, right? Yeah. Uh, you won't pursue pursue that particular goal that you have. So. that's 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 a nice thing to learn yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why i was saying teja right about teja yeah. so usually ba- all bands have a drummer and teja is the only guy who plays kahon and in right. our band we manage to sell our music uh, whatever our covers our music our sound our distinctive sound to people throughout these 6 years just with the kahon player not with the drummer and right. there are let's say 80 bands in hyderabad and 75 bands all, all 75 bands have drummers yeah so i think yeah. a lot of credit also goes to him and a lot of credit goes to our keyboard player and all our uh, you know when we play together we kind of get a capri show ka sound right so, uh, we get you no know, outside uh, that is capri show sound and it is very distinct anybody who will uh, hear capri show for the first time they'll be like yeah these guys are different i'm sure of it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, six uh, yes. years. Uh, I mean, I I am very confidently saying this because I've seen these people grow alongside me, so I know what they're capable of. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I'll acknowledge that because as a drummer, I usually play with the sticks and I have my legs as well to use in between, right, to play the instrument. But for a cajon player, it's just the hands and the wrists. Ah. The wrist movements can get really, you know, difficult, and you have to do this for an entire gig, right? And that's a lot of time like 2 3 hours maybe you're performing at a stretch so that is stretch. yeah <laughs> yeah and you, you do that quite a lot lot during the week you know multiple gigs so that that takes a, a lot of toll on his hands <laughs> so yeah it does. it does yeah all right so if you're enjoying the episode so far please please make sure to follow our podcast show on spotify apple music and all other podcast streaming platforms but if you're on youtube Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow and share. Okay, let's get straight to it. My first question after our break is like how you know the robots and artificial intelligence, those chat GPT and stuff, they are replacing tech jobs in a way. Did you guys replace DJs? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a very tough question actually. It's Because- all about preference i think i still think that people prefer live music like yeah. there's a different charm to you know live music people versus... prefer their favorite artists playing uh, for them be it djs be it uh, live musicians right people yeah. love to hear it from a human rather than an ai right so obviously yeah. if you are in a like um if you are definitely for a party situation um uh, yeah i think ai is coming yeah it is coming <laughs> to get you for sure yeah but it is all again it comes down to a niche of people where they want to have um, um, a particular artist play for them exactly Or yeah different yeah. artists come play for them so it all comes boils down to that it is all uh, about people's preference what they would want to hear but definitely ai is coming ai is coming <laughs> <for> everyone <laughs> are you are you guys using any of that uh, tools 
for your for your music or content in any way not not in our music but uh, definitely uh, in our uh, you know our uh, social media management yeah. we have a page right so uh, sometimes uh, our guy um, teja sometimes um, you know sometimes i write, i do the write ups but right. uh, we don't have any time and we just want to just uh, just post something and yeah. we want to make sure the grammar the english is not bad it doesn't exactly. suck it is at least a presentable so we just ask the ai to do it you know <laughs> a sentence Fine. we just ask it like frame a sentence saying this this yeah. uh, we want this um, uh, like let's say 19th may we are performing over here and uh, make it you know spice it up a bit uh, yeah so ki- that kind of stuff yeah we do <laughs> we do you a you say ai yeah. appreciate your honesty because yeah. i don't think a lot of people would openly admit yeah but you, it's i think there's nothing wrong yeah there's using, nothing wrong in using it support it saves time exactly it yeah it saves so much time and energy if you Exa- can just energy. why yeah. can't you just ask a robot to do it instead of it helps it you focus on the main stuff right exactly. like you know performing recording music it gives you more time to rehearse brainstorming ideas and all i honestly that. i i honestly even um, don't dislike the idea of ai at all because you know i honestly don't like this argument about um you know mile uh, like all, all these billionaires who are above uh, age 50 plus right, um right. they are complaining that uh, these days these millennials and the, all these kids uh, 20 uh, 2000 plus born kids right. they are all do tiktok uh, you know generating videos generating content making money out of it uh, why don't you guys get proper real jobs so their right. argument is that i don't get it Right. I mean, things were different back then. When you yep. were in your youth, I would say to that fifty-year-old man that you and you were in your youth, times were different. Now right. times are different. I mean, people are evolving. I mean, yeah. kids are evolving these days. This generation, I mean, I, I, I personally believe, like you said, I was started. <laughs> incredible what this generation has done with technology. I think yeah. that. we have we've created jobs yeah. you know which didn't exist 10 years ago or even 10 5 years ago we created job titles yeah. like content creator no, and like yeah. you know, social media um, influencer content yeah. creator like these weren't even jobs or where you know people yeah. didn't think you could earn money from it and what mm. this i mean our parents would disagree they would say they are not real jobs but yeah. not for uh, our uh, you know the younger generations they would obviously consider that as a real job because it would um, it is paying them Uh, like uh, obviously people uh, in india itself forget about canada and us in india itself influencers are making like tons shit loads of money just right. being influencers yeah. so i mean it's not a bad thing at all uh, i i don't i i don't know where in like what is the direction it's going to take right but i would not like to talk about that <laughs> but still it's not a bad thing i don't dislike it I think it's a tool that can be used uh, in whichever way you wish to use it. Enhance. Yeah. So yeah. if you use your tools in the right way, then yeah, it will definitely help you. And you, I, you know, when you said TikTok and stuff, I remembered um a few older people that I've met, and they say, oh no, like you know, this is just such a waste of time. You know, they do this all day, or you know, it becomes a part of their lives, and they do it yeah. all the time. And sometimes I just want to ask them, like, could you please record yourself for thirty seconds? You know, on a camera and like put it out there. Like put yeah. your it's it's you know and um. Yeah, people are born with such skills these days. People are much, born with those skills nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. You need creativity. Yeah. You need courage. You know, you need to be um so raw and sort of transparent to let people into your lives to put yourself out there. I think there. this is something I want to highlight to you know elders and you know parents kind of. Uh, age generation. age range yeah. uh, generation listening to this because it's important to also uh, support these kind of uh, you know uh, passions and jobs right uh, which is not typical 9 to 5 job i know the fact that with jobs like those you know the corporate jobs and those kind of stuff you have salary and that uh, visible income from day one right but for artists and content creators and these kind of professions you won't have that paycheck from day one eventually you will get there but the beautiful part about such life is promotions can happen every single day yeah. and you know whenever you want right you know it'll okay. something will click like you said yeah. overnight you know yeah. the volatility of the industry it yeah. takes time yes it takes time but uh, you should definitely support and encourage uh, you know children and you know young youngsters having such uh, you know talents and you know uh, ideas uh, in general right definitely. yeah because we are um... we are in the age of ai man come on it is already upon us so we have yeah. to accept reality and we just have to encourage 
like we just not we should not be at least too uh, you know um, defensive against it yeah we can exactly. at least be open about it even if we are not liking it at least we can be open about it open to the idea of discussion yeah. at least right yeah. don't just yeah. say ledu you can't do this yeah. you no know, that can't be your first response right at least yeah. give, a, give a chance you know i know nowadays we see in movies where you, they, the parents will be like oh you can take one year and then you can try something and then if that doesn't work out then you have to go back to a job it doesn't work like, <laughs> like that, that right it doesn't <laughs> happen in one year it takes a lot those of time those days are gone the, yeah. those days are long gone where uh, you know uh, such kind of uh, you know uh, pressure is being put on the younger generation i mean yeah. it was our the 90s kids ka generation that was we were the ones like being pressurized yeah. not the yeah. 2000 kids definitely yeah. not oh, yeah. i agree they have it easier yeah yeah it's just um and you know that's what it takes like a band it takes a family um of you know your family or you know your band members that kind of support for a band like capricio to come up right yeah <laughs> if it wasn't for them or them you know being so agreeable to it yeah. then it would have been really difficult <laughs> of course it was not an overnight thing but yeah <laughs> thankfully it happened yeah and now you know um what do you think is your next like milestone or like what is how would you define success for the band oh success for the band of we already done in star followers was it like you know getting recognized by celebrities or working in the film industry or band tours in the us like what was that one you know um definitive moment or is it still yet to come or do you think after we've done this then you know we're successful so definitely first thing is uh, i'd like to highlight is insta followers yeah definitely <laughs> because we are what so 69 70k strong now so it's all thanks to those people who most of it was organic because a lot of people who came to our concert who witnessed us somewhere or the other yeah they start following us because it is all about the live scene it is right. not it is not artificial they're all organic followers right. they all yeah. have listened to capricho at some point in their lifetime and right. i would definitely um, uh, put that on the priority list uh, on the top of the list because they are the ones who made us whatever we are right now and Absolutely. definitely after that um, uh, obviously movie celebrities uh, actors actresses music producers directors obviously uh, a lot of support from their side also uh, allu arjun has been very very supportive of capricho allu bobby has been very supportive of capricho since day one nani has been very supportive and all these people when they come and they you know they extend their support to us uh, and they uh, invite us to their uh, if some of their family or the gatherings right. or some function right. is happening they want right. us to play for them uh, it means a lot to us because uh, you know who it is it gives a lot of mileage to the band Absolutely. and uh, it also makes us uh, strive for you know uh, even Valid- more validation right that is also yeah, yeah. sort of validation right being invited to you know those events and you know something more personal than just putting on the story and saying oh this band is good right yeah. that's not yeah that everyone does yeah. but you know getting that personal touch you know is also a nice thing to have but what about for you eknath personally what are your plans for you know for your music music career and your future what are you aiming at in 2023 maybe or the next year where do you see yourself going oh man uh, i'm very clueless <laughs> yeah that's okay That's, in, I the mean, that's run, a- <laughs> in the long run i definitely want to accompany myself with an instrument with uh, finesse okay yeah with whatever ability i have uh, in my sing- whatever singing ability i have i i want that uh, even when i'm playing an instrument i want to have the same ability with my instrument right. while i'm singing so i want to be able to achieve that in the long run that is my long term goal um right. and uh, yeah i just want to retire performing as a performing artist Wow. Uh, that is the only aim in of my life i i just want to perfect being a i i mean there's no uh, such thing as a perfect musician but i, I want to perfect being a musician <laughs> beautiful yeah that's beautiful but eknath what's been if you can uh, give us or the listeners uh, the difficult side of this journey obviously it's a lot of hard work right i mean some things that are not on instagram and social media that are not often talked about what's been the most difficult part for you and the journey that you've had with the band and everything is it financial a uh, hurdle or or has it been uh, just creating content but not being able to reach to the right audience and all of that what's been the what's most the challenges yeah. Have, yeah have you faced oh yeah um to a lot of content creators or a lot of musicians who are, who want to 
who are in this uh, race of creating content just because mm-hmm. they are you know just because it is exploding ai is exploding um instagram there's tiktok now there's snapchat everything is like everything is social media these days right we are in the age of social media right everybody wants to create content we should not uh, i just want to say them that don't rush don't rush uh, like whatever you see on the social media it is not it might not be true it it might not reflect what your lifestyle has right now it's just you are being tempted to you know do something that is out of your reach right now um like if you are uh, let's say you are perfect in some uh, one kind of thing right you it is out of your reach like but you want to do it anyway and you kind of rush into making some kind of content you know you may um you uh, hire a music producer you make something and you kind of create a content you okay you reach people right yeah but then uh, i say that is not the right way to go yeah take time perfect your art perfect whatever you have realize your strengths right uh make your strengths uh, so strong yeah that wherever at whatever position you are in wherever you are tackled like whenever you are in a certain position that you have to uh, play something or you have to uh, you know uh, give an advice to some uh, to someone or you have to do something based on your strength right you will have to do it in a jiffy without a second thought it right. has to be second nature to you absolutely yeah don't don't uh, speak for your work let your work speak for itself thank you, thank yeah. you. So, i mean it's also about the quality of the work that you do right it's not about quantity any yeah reason. it is not about quantity man it it's is it's always not, about quantity yeah, it's not going to be enough it's about that one song that you create and one video that you put out there that will that will stick to someone's life for the rest of their life right like it'll yeah. it'll stay for decades as, as beautiful as a song uh, as a musician is that you know his his voice will be remembered even long after he's gone and long after he's That's retired what i'm saying i yeah. i know see i know you i i know a lot of people who are doing that and uh, um when you ask them when you just meet them outside and they're just playing and you ask them are uh, i saw you play with that guitar that day i saw that reel it was so beautiful uh, so obviously we know that it's a produced one right. he went to yeah. the studio he recorded everything he he had a music director uh, yeah. he produced stuff he paid them everything and it came out and now yeah. if you ask him uh, red handedly play that song he won't be able to play it Yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah. we noticed one of the singers recently where you know he performed at an event and he's so completely different from the what op- we hear on Spotify when we listen to his song. You know, and yeah. that live concert was that's, shocking. That's the most beautiful part about yeah. Eknath and his voice and Telugu Telugu songs and voice and lyrics in general, right? Like that uh, beauty and warmth that there is that it you know it's. if you, you if you search enough for you know those nice telugu words and you know and you put your heart into it and put it out as a story in the form of a song it it goes a long way right is that is that something you want to do as well do you already have original music or yes, you- i do have original music and uh, yeah i'm just taking my time man because uh, um i just want to uh, yeah i uh, people have told me that you make such good original music why don't you make more music so i've always uh, taken help of other people to help my original music become whatever is there on spotify or itunes right so unless it is unless it is my own uh, creation everything from start to finish which i've made it myself i cannot call it my song right yeah you understand right yeah it, i i mean i i really believe in such kind of uh, a thing if you are calling it your song you you have to internalize the song completely the the yeah, whole part the and yeah. the energy the melody the soul of the song everything the lyrics yeah. it has to be from the heart it has to be it, it should come out from inside right so right. it it is not your original song if it is just on spotify right. or if you hired the music producer to make your song it is not your song i'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, yeah. it is the music producer song who ma- who try who helped you make that song. It is not right. yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, it has been like uh, I wanted to say this since so long, but it, it kind of makes sense that I'm saying it uh, here. Maybe like a lot of people will hear this, and maybe it'll be very controversial. But still, I just wanted to let this out. No, absolutely yes. The 
the way you sing it the you know the rhythm and the the lyrics those words and then eventually that music video there's so many dots that need to connect and then you're showing a story in the form of a voice right so it, it takes a lot of effort to put it out uh, if not perfectly the way you want it right that's what represents you and what you are so and that yeah. that cannot be done uh, just like that overnight it takes it takes a lot of effort and, and yeah, it takes rakshasa sadhana antaru chudandi it takes rakshasa sadhana to do it <laughs> and yeah i'm i'm such a person that would uh, give my entire life um, to do it and then come up with maybe third, 20 years later and right. say yeah i composed an original song and i would play and i'll sing along and it would it would be flawless it would be my song it would come from my heart i would rather perfect it and then um, make something i would rather perfect my craft and make something than just do it like my jack of all arts master of none kind of thing i don't want to do so that's why i've stopped the making original music also because i've been working on my craft capricho is touring soon australia right and uh, yes. that's got huge i'm sure you're more excited about going to australia than performing <laughs> the view <It's> <laughs> of course yeah we we'll, we we'll want to we're ideal, talking to us not the ideal season winter it's season winter right it's winter, yeah, it is winter and we were talking about when when this topic came among our bandmates like we are going to australia to tour everybody was like ah uh, we will we'll get to see giant giant spiders we will get to see kangaroos <laughs> we'll get to see uh, spiders uh, the size of dogs and everything right, and everybody right. was excited about the wildlife and about the you know landscape and everything nobody yeah. was talking about the gigs <laughs> <laughs> well good luck to you and your team yeah, we but... wish you the very best and i'm sure that with the um, the determination and honesty that you guys you know um it's perform. going yeah, yeah it's yeah. going a long way definitely. in the form of distance but also in the in the form of reaching people it definitely is one last thing that i wanted to ask is is there any a life mantra or a quote or an advice that you keep to yourself that you know maybe your grandfather gave to you or someone that you look up to you look up to uh, you know some something that you know you always think of when when you're in your lowest moments of your life or even the 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 highest moments of your life you know that something that inspires you and motivates to you, you to go forward in life that you would like to share with the young young listeners who want to pursue a similar path upcoming like upcoming band the upcoming yeah. vocalist yeah <laughs> yeah so basically uh, um um my mom um, she passed away when i was a very young i think i was 15 around 10th standard when she passed away uh, she used to be a, a, an amazing violinist <laughs> so uh, i always think about um, how i got it like i'm i'm here because i am like my purpose my purpose there is some purpose for my life whenever i'm at my lowest i always think about this thing that i have some purpose i'm yeah. here i'm on for some purpose so i that just that just 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 that one thing it just makes me you know it lifts my spirits i think about my mom and i think uh, about how i got it from her in the whole music and everything and i just i don't give up after that i just i just kick ass <laughs> so nice i hope uh, she you know she's i'm sure she's always there in your gigs you know let's watching you perform and everything and i'm and we're absolutely sure that she's proud of What everything you've, that you've achieved so, so far. far so far and what you're going to be achieving in the yeah. future <laughs> it's it's been a beautiful uh, journey to have with you and walk down your you know timeline of your life thank you so much for sitting down with us and doing this and uh, we hope that you know when this episode comes out we'll do justice to your story and your band's story so far and hopefully you know this will connect with someone and it will help someone else you know start their own journey and you know it will kick start them and you know give that motivation to you know go a long way yeah this yeah. has been such an inspiring conversation ekna yeah mm-hmm. thank you It means a lot thanks for having me and I, it was so fun talking to you guys I, um, like you guys like um, you made me feel like i'm your paska galli ka friend from childhood so. yeah. <laughs> you are now <laughs> thanks thanks for having me yep thank you so much for your time and uh, we will stay in connect obviously this doesn't end here uh that's the beautiful part about us doing these episodes is the the friendships that we were able to make so thanks eknath we will continue watching your papu stories and mere mere bude petu t-shirt kapda pudu yeah sure thank you eknath good night uh, take care and we'll we'll stay in touch yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you have to give me that bye thanks bye. take care